Happy holidays, it's Sean from Tested here with my uh, favorite things uh, for this year. Uh, we have a little bit of everything, uh, but why don't we, uh, in the Christmas spirit, start with toys, and especially with gremlin toys. How can you not think of uh, Christmas without thinking of gremlins? And uh, I have, I've been, I've been uh, bringing these in before, I had them on a few other favorite things, and they just keep making like every single gremlin variant out there, and I love them. They're from NECA, they're very well done, uh, they come with amazing accessories, the sculpts are really good, and this year they did uh, some of the uh, Christmassy uh, gremlins. So we have uh, this guy, which is Spike in a Santa suit, and this was actually not in the movie, but as far as I can remember, it was off promotional stuff and uh, like the, uh, I think one of the movie posters. But it's fantastic, comes with a little gizmo, great Santa suit, and so we got Spike in a Santa suit. Uh, and then we have a, a, a set of carolers. Um, which come with uh, great accessories. And they have another two, there was four in the movie, and they're coming out with um, the other two sometime uh, probably before Christmas. And these come with their, their song books, very, variety of accessories, also really well detailed. Um, I love these guys. My only complaint about these is that they just do not stand up well. It's just due to their little gremlin feet. So that's why they're propped up against everything here. But uh, I think these are about like the, the sixth gremlins that I've purchased and they've all been uh, fantastic. I have another toy this year. It's the another Iron Man item. This is the 30112 scale Mark III Iron Man. Um, this thing is absolutely fantastic and it uh, has an amazing amount of detail on it for how big this is. And it's a little bit more manageable size than uh, say like the larger scale figures. Um, I just love this thing. That I've bought multiple things from 3.0 and the craftsmanship, the joints on them and the paint jobs in particular have been fantastic and this one uh, does not disappoint. And the other thing that I really love about it is that it lights up. Now it is the little watch batteries uh, and you can take his helmet off, uh, the top of the helmet off to access the eyes, but you can actually push and click off the uh, arc reactor in the chest, which is kind of cool. But the amount of articulation that they put in this um, with all the different joints and moving armor. So not just like the air flaps, which are you know pretty typical on some of the Iron Man suits like these guys, but they did shifting armor plates so you could actually pose them better. So like we have these ones on the upper thigh that will actually pull up and out of the way so that you can get, you know, the Iron Man crouch. Um, and the little flaps that are on the feet and the ankles all articulate, which is just phenomenal. The knees will bend quite a bit. Um, and there's even, this is the one I think maybe impressed me the most, these chest panels will pop out and move as needed to allow the arms to move further, which the, just the amount of detail that they put into this thing is, is fantastic. Has a variety of hands. It has um, uh, jets that you can plug into the feet and some of the hand, uh, swap out hands. And in, just like if you're just wanting something small and cool for Iron Man on your desk, this is the way to go. The 3-0, uh, scale. Um, so uh, let's start with some tools and gadgets. Uh, let's go with this guy first. This is a nice little camping lantern uh, from Goal Zero. Uh, I bought this for camping, but it's also come in really handy for the multiple blackouts that we've had in our neighborhood uh, uh, this year. Um, but it is a 5200 uh, milliamp hour battery in it. It can uh, be charged via the built-in uh, charging cable, which is really nice. Um, it also acts as a power bank, so you can charge things off of it. Uh, and it has, you know, your standard little like emergency flashing lights. You can also charge it by cranking it, which is really nice feature. And it has these handy little flip down legs. But the thing that just really blew me away with this is how bright it is. Um, there are two settings. You can fire just one lamp, the forward facing lamp, and it's dimmable. Or you can do both lamps, there's one in the back and you get really bright light. In fact, most of the time we're camping, I use just the one and I turn it down quite a bit because it pumps out a lot of light. So the Goal Zero, I think this is the Lighthouse Lantern. And then it also has the little hanging bit up top. You can fold these up and then hang it from top of your tent. 
All right. A uh, few other tools. These are two uh, par particular sets of pliers that I bought this year that I have found very useful. Um, they're kind of the different takes on the same setup. These are from Crescent. These are called the Auto Bite, and the idea is it's it's pretty much like a channel lock. You can slide them up and down on this ratchet to adjust the uh, size of the the um, jaws, but it has another feature where if you flip out this little lever, it will auto adjust to whatever you're putting in it. So we can open the jaws up wide and then put the auto adjust on and it will automatically squeeze shut to that particular size. So it's kind of a nice feature and I've, I found it really useful around the house. I've heard a few mixed reviews about these guys. Some people think they're not beefy enough or built well enough, but for what I've been using around the house, um, they have been working well and 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 a good deal, you know, for the price. It has one additional feature down here on the on the handles, which allow you to grip like you know like a like a container lid or pipe or something like that that needs a little more gentle touch, and you can use it to torque those open. Um, so these are the Auto Bites from Crescent or the Auto. Another take on that, a little more expensive uh, from Kinepex. Uh, they're the kind of the same idea, but they're not uh, auto, but they are kind of a combination of like an adjustable wrench and channel locks. So what you can do on this guy is you can push this button in and then slide this down to whatever size you want and it'll lock there and then only open and close to that size. The really nice thing about this is there's an actual little window here and if you know the size of the fastener that you're using, you can just dial it into like, you know, 13 millimeters, 10 millimeters or whatever. And on the flip side, there are fractions as well, which is a nice feature. Um, these are great. These are more heavy duty, and uh, they, they, I think these will last forever based on my other Kinepex tools, uh, but these are significantly more expensive, but a really good option if you're looking for this type of thing. So the, the Crescent, which is a, the, the economy version, and the Kinepex um, if you want something really fancy. All right. So let's move on to uh, books and artwork. Uh, we'll do the book here first, but um, I haven't bought many books. We're, we moved this year and we've been kind of tied up with all that, so I haven't bought a lot of books this year, but I did pick up this one called Open, Open Circuits. And the idea with Open Circuits is they did cross sections of just about any electronics item that you can think of. Um, I think that they water jetted a lot of these, but I'm not 100% sure. But you get these great cross-sectional pictures of what is inside all of these different electrical items. So like we got an LED, uh, you know, transistors, resistors, whatever, but they're really well done and great photographs. And I bought it just for that. I was like, that's just a neat like cutaway looking inside electronics. But the bonus, which I really love about this, is they actually explain how they work. So if you're just somebody getting into electronics or uh, just want to know more about how things work, uh, you get a fascinating look inside while also getting an explanation of how they actually work. So the Open Circuits book, check it out. Um, all right, so I didn't have any coffee table books, but this is kind of like my stand in my artwork that I've picked up this year. Um, with moving, we have more wall space, so I need to fill that up. And so I finally was able to pick up some stuff from one of my favorite uh, artists out there, Frederick Cooper. Um, and I can't, re I don't remember if I saw Frederick Cooper at Monster Palooza or another convention, but he does fantastic artwork that is based mostly on the classic monster movies. So like Universal, Hammer Films, uh, and then he does his own takes on it. So you have like Frankie's Girl here, which is his take on the Br Bride of Frankenstein. We have Dr. Pretorius from The Bride of Frankenstein, of course, Lily Munster. And the, the amount of detail that he gets into his artwork just blows me away. And he captures the likeness of the actor and actresses absolutely perfectly. And um, he, he has just about anything that you would want as far as classic monsters go. So that's Frederick Cooper art, uh, check it out. And he has some that are just like, uh, like print on demand type stuff that are very economically priced. And he has more limited edition stuff such as this, which are only in like maybe a hundred run or something like that. But he has a great site with lots of uh, uh, the artwork on it that you can pick up and it uh, ships pretty quickly. 
Oh, and I realized that I forgot one tool that was sitting right in front of me here. This isn't a tool so much as like a utility type thing, but I don't remember where I found these. But uh, I picked them up and they are adhesive removers. So they're just kind of like uh, in this former little wet nap or alcohol swab. And that is because these are actually meant for hospital and medical use. Uh, they are designed for uh, wiping off like the adhesive from like IVs or uh, other bandages that you might get in the hospital. So they're gentle on skin, but they remove adhesive uh, like crazy. And I picked them up and have been using them on just like other sticky stuff. So those stubborn sticker, stickers that leave a residue uh, or things that you might use like uh, something like Goo Gone on or something like that. These are quick and easy to use and um, I've had them take off stuff that I had trouble removing with other items. They're called Remove. Um, they're from uh, Smith and Nephew is the company and they're pr it's very cheap to get a box of, I forget, these are 50 wipes. I've had this for over a year and have not run out yet. Um, so if you have sticky situations, check out the uh, remove wipes. All right, so uh, last thing, I'm sure any Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul fans have been eyeing this up the entire video, uh, is the Zafiro Anejo tequila bottle from Breaking Bad and then showed up again in Better Call Saul. Um, and this is a replica that my friend Spencer made. Uh, Spencer's our kind of crazy person. He is a magician, a prop builder, and he took it upon himself to make an exact duplicate of the Zafiro Anejo bottle. Uh, from my understanding, the original was uh, a 1800s bottle. is an antique vintage bottle that are very hard to find, in particular, uh, very hard to find in the color that they use in the show. So he tracked one down, the wrong color, but he had it replicated down to the last detail, graphite molds made, and then these are all hand blown into the mold. It's, and apparently these are really difficult to make. Uh, each one has a few little quirks and flaws, which just kind of add to the whole uh, overall presentation. And then Spencer hand makes these little toppers out of hand cut styrene that is also hand bent and then glued on and painted to replicate the metallic stopper uh, seen in the show. In addition to that, uh, Spencer has gone the extra mile and you get a little uh, uh, wax sealed uh, certificate envelope that has your uh, uh, Zafir Anejo uh, certificates of authenticity. And it's just, his attention to detail is just absolutely fantastic. But uh, Spencer has a few of these on his Etsy shop. He didn't do a huge run because these were so difficult to make. And I, I'm not sure if he's gonna make more, but if you're a big Breaking Bad fan or know somebody who is, uh, check out the Zafiro Anejo tequila bottle. Uh, so that's it for uh, my favorite things of this year. I uh, hope you guys have a great holiday and we'll see you next year. I can't thank you enough for supporting us by watching the channel. If you've been to our merch store, you might wanna head there again because we are always updating our roster with new products. Here is the anime inspired tested logo in Japanese, my, one of my all time favorite new designs. Uh, we're also selling tested mugs and tested hats. Oh, and if you want a cup of tea, we're selling that too. Tested-store.com. Tested-store.com. <laughs>